The result came back from the DNA testing and guess what? I thought that this one was a girl without the tail. Welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I am right now here with my two little beautiful baby golden conures. If you haven't seen it already, I got babies. I got two new babies. It's the wind. Oh, there they are. Do you have DNA testing? Do you know if no, they are I don't female? Know their sex. You don't know their sex. No. Look at it. This is my little girl. And this is my little boy. So come on, come on, come on, come on. This is the boy. He has a tail feather. That's what the breeder says. We don't know it. That's what we have to find out. And this is the little girl. Hello. She has no tail feather, as you can see. Um, they are both siblings. Hi. They're very affectionate, very smart, very sweet. All what they want to do is just spend time with me and kiss me. I love you too. Okay, little girl. Go up there. So the breeder told me that the girl has no tail feathers. Um, and I don't know why. And the boy, he has tail feathers. So what we're going to do today, I have two test kits right here. We're going to test and DNA test them. Um, I have this place, it's called Hell for Gene. You can Google them. I always do my DNA testing with them. It's like $17 and it's so easy and it's really accurate. And then they send you a certificate in the mail. Um, so if you go online, Health, this company HealthGen is from Canada. If you go online, you can order free sample kits. They will send you free, free, free sample kits. And then what you have to do is you have to clip the nails of your bird. Um, this is a um, card. You put some blood here and here, the name of the bird, the owner's name, and um, the species like golden conures. Well, what the nice thing about this is that um, you get kind of like a certificate of ownership as well. So I really like it. You don't just get the gender of the birds, but also a certificate of ownership with my name on it. So that's really cool and everything only for 17 bucks. So that, this is so worth it. Also, I can do it in the comfort of my home. I don't need to bring them to the vet and stress them out. One and two, I don't need to pay a hundred bucks at the vet for them to do the same thing what I will do. Um, so they have never been toweled before. Hi guys. They're so sweet. They're so affectionate. I'm quarantining them right now from the other birds because they're babies and I don't want my flock to die or if they have bacterial infection or some sort of virus. So it's always good to quarantine baby birds um, for a time being. We'll just quarantine for four weeks, see how they're doing and then introduce them slowly to the flock. Hello. Hello. I noticed that this little girl has a lot of like spunk. Ow! <laughs> you have quite a bite, don't you? She's testing the waters. She is. Ow! <laughs> no. What I do is she, she tried to bite me. I twist away her beaky beak. I, I twist away your beaky beak. Twist away your beaky beak. And this boy, oh my gosh, he's the sweet. Ow! <laughs> He's so sweet, but let's be for sure if they're girl and boy. I don't know where it will be amazing if I have a girl and a boy. I wanted a female and a male. If they are a female and a male, oh my gosh, that would be so cool. It doesn't really matter. It could be also two females, two males, but it would be just nice to have a, a pair, a couple, you know, a sibling couple. Once this gender is set, I'm going to reveal their names, what I'm going to call them, which will be beautiful, positive, matching words and affirmation to my flock. Angelic parrots. Okay, so let's do it. I don't think they will like it, but <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so I will have to towel. I'm gonna do the girl first. Also, the nails are very, very sharp. So I'm gonna let them have their sharp nails for now. Um, I'm not gonna cl clip the nails too much because they need some grip. Hello. Oh, that was easy to towel them. Okay, so what I do is Make sure that she has enough air that she can 
And then I'll just put some blood in the cart. Why is your... She's already stressed. Okay, I think this is enough. I think this is enough. My blood is coming out. I'll just put a drop of crazy glue. I'm gonna stop bleeding. Okay. Alright. Alright, the bleeding stuff. Hey, there you go. So that was number one. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna fill in this card and her name. So her name will, the ID, this is her name. Her name, his species will be Golden Cornier. Owner will be me, Caroline Von. So as you can see, a little girl is doing good. Her little feet, okay, it's right here. You can see right here, where the blood, right here. So she's doing good. Hey, don't take it off. Don't take it off, little girl. Hi, yeah, we're gonna DNA test you. Hi. Okay, so now we have to do the same thing with the boy. We have to DNA test him. So same drill. He has a brand new card. It'll clip the boy and then towel him. Come on, little boy. Step up. You see the boy has a tail feather. He has a tail feather. He's so sensitive. I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive. He's done. We got you. We got you. Mm, you're good. Mm. We got him. Okay. We just do need test both of them. Yeah. You want to go back to your sister? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm full of blood. Um, this is his DNA card. Let's fill this out and ship it off.
Okie dokie. So this is his cart. I'll put his cart in the envelope. And all what we have to do now is fill out this and then ship it out. And that's it. So I'm going to let you know if it's female or male, or male, male, or female, female. Once I get the result, it will take like one week until maybe two weeks until they email me the result. And then they also send me a certificate in the mail, which is really nice. Two weeks later. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in again. So the result came back from the DNA testing. And guess what? I thought that this one was a girl without the tail, but the breeder told, like, re-watching the video, he says the one without the tail is a male, because males are bolder. I didn't know that. I thought I, I missed, I mishear him, and I thought the guy, and I thought the bird without a tail, which is this guy, he was a female, and I always call her, because she was so bold, and I was calling her, her. And this bird right here, which is a, which has a tail, I thought that this bird was a, they can't stop kissing me, I can't stop kissing them too, can't stop kissing them too. So I thought that this bird with the tail was a boy, and this one was the girl. But guess what? The DNA test came back saying that this one, this one with the tail is a female, and this one is a male. So guys, I have a male and I have a female, which makes sense because we're listening to the breeder. He said that the male was bolder and the girl was more timid. So he has been a really little punk. Check this out. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> All right, check this out, guys. I am gonna put him under my shirt and check what is gonna happen. Check what is gonna happen. And put her in my shirt and check what's gonna happen. Sim some of them wear the gold conures with him. Drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls. Where are they? <gasps> there they are! <laughs> Hello. Hey, oh, head, head on my shoulder. Ah! So the male here is more cuddly and he's really, really bold. Via the female, she's more timid and she's smarter actually. He is so bold. He's just doing stuff all the time, right? Like biting my finger and being attached to me. He's a little Velcro. Little Velcro bird. <laughs> so this guy is a Velcro bird. He's a boy. And this one is a girl. And guys, we have picked names. I'm gonna reveal the names. So um, we decided to call the girl with the tail Sunshine because she's just so beautiful. Look at, just like a sunshine. And this boy, to match the angelic flock, we're gonna call him Star. Star. He's the star, she's the sunshine. So there you have it. These are the names reveals Sunshine and star. So the boy is star, the girl is sunshine. So we have both. We have female and male. How awesome is it? Brothers and sisters. Um, and this is like a jackpot. I could have gotten two males or two females. Like that I got a female and a male in one clutch, like at one time together. It's so phenomenal. So I have now two golden conures, two lorry keys, two hyacinths, uh, one African Grey, two Amazons, and a hybrid Catalina Macaw. So that's my flock. And he's golden. He's golden. What is he? He's playing with my wedding ring right here. He's so interested in my wedding ring right now. What are you doing? What are you? And they're so cute. They, they are so cute. Can't stop kissing them. <laughs> you can't take out my honey. Come on, you guys. Hello. There you have it. They are two handfuls. Two handfuls in one. Ow! Ow! Little boy. Little star. Stop. Ow! You're sassy. Okay, guys. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give us a like, a thumbs up. I'm going to post a new video on Monday. Make sure to subscribe. Smash the subscribe button and give us a like. If you don't know what to comment, just put one, 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 one. If you comment on my videos or put just one, 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 one in, YouTube is going to push up my analytics, which is better for my channel. So just comment anything. If you don't know what to comment, put in a one because this is Star and this is Sun. Bye guys! Mwah.